And I'm the director of concept and design and production of Rev Jewelry, and my assistant business partner. Yeah, T. C. Bennett. I'm actually the director of marketing, sales, and public relations. And together we are a team, not only siblings, but we're a team in terms of the way it comes up with the great creative part of it, and actually physically makes a product. And I go out and find a market for our products. And um, <clears throat> it's been great thus far. We've been um, operating our business for two years now. And uh, last year we won two major awards here in Jamaica. We won the Young Entrepreneur um, Challenge but as the Vanguard Awards from the Jamaica Employees Federation as well as the Avant-Garde Design of the Year um, from Saints and Appleton Genesis um, competition. So it's been, and other, other competitions that we've gotten great recognition, international competitions. So it's been, it's been great in terms of the support and the recognition that we've been getting for our company. Um, well, we have some of your pieces here today, as you yes, can see. Yeah, right. you um, <laughs> could you tell us a little bit of what inspired you to make such unique jewelry? Well, um, I've been the artist, of course. I'm inspired by signature people um, galvanizing Jamaica on a whole. Um, I, like, I usually say that artists aren't made, they're born. And so I developed a natural gift, of, you know, being a child and my sister child. here <laughs> was my inspiration also behind that. Um, one of my favorite pastimes is walking the beaches going to the country, yeah. so again, putting that into the work. And then he went to um, Ed Manley College of Visual and Performing Arts, where he got to also collaborate with other great jewelers, which are some of the top jewelers from the region, like Garrett Sagmanetti, Carl Campbell, Dan Wright, and they, as his lecturers and facilitators, garnered the natural creative and, um, talent that he had. And it's been going great thus far, as I said, he makes my job fairly simple to go out, um, here at the Hilton, we supply uh, Kingston 21, also Strawberry Hotel and, and Spa, um, and several other locations like Things Jamaica, uh, Revolution Gallery, and we have one distributor based in New York, and we're looking to expand more within the Caribbean and internationally. So, as well as Morgan's Harbor. Morgan's Harbor <laughs> yeah. Hotel, right? I can't remember everyone, but definitely. Yeah. And we're hoping to come to your island soon, too. Yeah, we hope you come. <laughs> so, to watch out for Rev. So what are some materials that you use to make your unique jewelry? <clears throat> oh, we try not to limit ourselves to any one thing. So I work in brass, silver, coral, gold, pearls. pencil crayon as you can see you're wearing <laughs> yeah. now. Um, pearls, amethyst, so what's the crystals? Yeah, you a name lot it, of diamonds. Um, but what really sets Rev Jewelry apart from any other brand is that we've found the balance of incorporating natural resources, for instance, we use ackee seeds, which is our natural dish. Nat well, the ackee is a natural um, fruit and a national dish here in Jamaica. And we've got a trademark where we actually incorporate ackees in necklaces and bracelets. And it's really it's interesting to merge, it's not craft, but to merge those creative processes with like the silver and the gold. Like this beautiful ring I'm wearing that Dwayne made. This is agate, which is a precious stone. And it's sterling done with silver. sterling silver and these bracelets and these earrings. So we're just trying to merge the the natural resources with the, the, the authentic goldsmithing techniques of jewelry making, and that's what sets our products. So, as young entrepreneurs, was was it hard to bring up your business? It was challenging, <laughs> but that's what kind of what fuels us. And the great thing about it as well is that um, persons, other persons, recognize the talent and what we what we naturally love doing. Because I love fashion, so it was a natural transition. I, unlike doing who has this degree in goldsmithing, I got my degree in tourism and hospitality. And um, it's, just a, it's a great marriage anyway, because I'm looking to, you know, to position the brand with Duane within the region and internationally. And it's been challenging in terms of you have a lot of competition, but the great thing is that the persons really tend to love the products, and they love the fact that they're very unique and one of a kind. Pretty much like the ones you're wearing, it's the only one that would be like that. But have different designs and inspired by that one design as well. But usually you only have one product, one of a kind in that, in that collection. And persons really value that. So you get quality products, unique products, and you know, 
So rest assured, yeah. nobody will have the same exact. No. no, it will be the same collection, but it will not be the same thing. Meaning, products might resemble each other. Like this ring, there might be a similar ring, but it's it's a it's a different because everything is natural. Everything has a different look. It's unique to that person. Okay. So how are you guys doing internationally? It's great. Yeah. <laughs> and this summer, we're both looking to go um, to New York to expand more with the suppliers <laughs> over there. Um, but they've been very receptive. Our new collection that Dwayne did, the Alley collection, um, that I'm actually wearing one of the silver bracelets from that collection. Um, they've been, it's been very receptive thus far with those. This other day, our, our uh, distributor from New York, Stush Images, she came and she got a couple of them. She really loved them. So that's great. <laughs> Have we had the opportunity to share with um, permanent fashion shows? Like I think they had the Caribbean Fashion Week. Um, uh, yes, we did. Um, we styled one of the models. What's her name again? We participate. Yeah. I don't remember, but we also participate in terms of the um, trade show they had at the National Indoor Sports Center. Um, we were there with the Jamaica Fashion and Apparel Coastal, so that was great. Um, just working with other clothing designers, and yeah, we were involved. It was Kimberly Mays. That's right. Yeah. yeah, we did styling with, with Ali Dew, the clothing designer, with Kimberly Mays. So we were involved in that. Not particularly doing a segment for ourselves, but involved in other means of 